Hello and welcome to another five minute photo adventure where this morning I've come to Lyme Regis in Dorset to photograph the cob. So I am super excited about this morning for two reasons. First of all, the weather recently has been terrible and I've not been able to get out with a camera as much as I would normally like to. So I'm really keen to get back out here and shoot another bit of content. The other reason I'm excited to be here is because the Cobb is one of my favorite locations to shoot. It's a great coastal location. Let me tell you why. So let me tell you what the Cobb is. The Cobb is actually the harbour wall at Lyme Regis. And what makes it interesting to photograph is its shape. So it's a big stone wall, but it's got a nice S curve and it leads out into the sea. So in terms of composition, positioning yourself up in the wall and then allowing the S curve to lead through the frame and out into the sea makes for a really nice image. At this time of year, and I'm here in February, you can get some really nice conditions. The sun rises in just the right direction though. If it pops up over the horizon, it can illuminate the side of the cob with some nice golden light. The tide at the moment is uh, on its way out, but it has just been at high tide. But what this also means is you get some nice waves come up and they crash up against the side of the cob, giving you a picture of a bit of drama. Now, we've got some really nice cloud in the sky this morning as well. So I'm hoping that maybe all three elements of some nice crashing waves good sky and a nice sunrise might give me a really nice picture. I think the only thing that's potentially going to scupper things this morning is the bank of cloud out, out towards the sea where the sun is rising. So I might not get uh, the golden light, but everything else is looking good. So I'm now going to set up a composition and I'll talk you through that. So let me tell you about my composition this morning. Now, my options are a little bit limited. Um, there are quite a few photographers here this morning. I've counted seven plus myself. So my ability to position myself on the cob is somewhat limited, but I have got myself into a good position, I think. So I'm actually gonna put the camera in a vertical orientation. This is to allow me to use as much of the cob as possible. So I've got it big and large in the bottom of the frame as it leads out and uses that S shape to get out into the sea and I've got some nice cloud in the sky. I've got myself so I can see the inner side of the cob so hopefully when I get a nice wave crashing in that will give me a bit of drama that I mentioned earlier that I'm looking for in the picture and then really I just need to wait for the sun to rise to give me the light which is about 15 minutes away. Um, I'm probably going to have to use a grad just to balance out the sky and I'll be using my polarizer just so I can control the amount of glare um, off the, the water that's already sitting on top of the cob and off the reflections off the sea. So really, I'm already set up, ready to go. I just need to wait for the light and take a picture. Okay, I'm now down at the beach because I finished taking my images up there on the cob. It looked like um, this morning that wasn't going to get much in the way of light at all and I was probably going to have to go for a lot of black and white images. But as it turned out, and this is always a thing with landscape photography, you've got to be a little bit patient. So after the sun had come up, maybe about 10 minutes or so after sunrise, it just came up through the bank of the cloud and started illuminating the surrounding sky. I didn't unfortunately get any light on the side of the cob, which really just lifted the picture up to the next level, but I'm still happy with the results and I got a nice set of pleasing images. So while I'm down here on the beach, I'm gonna actually to take another composition. This is one I've not shot before. So most of my shots when I come here, I'm up in the cob, we're nice with the S-Bend, but I'm gonna take a sort of long exposure, minimalistic image while I'm down here on the beach looking at the side curve of the cob. Not sure how it's gonna work, but I'm gonna take the image and pop it up in the screen. Well, I think my time here at the cob in Lyme Regis is coming to an end. I've got some nice photographs and I've had a great morning out. So 
It is one of my favorite coastal locations, so if you're ever in the area, it's one that I uh, recommend that you definitely shoot, probably uh, for sunrise and when the tide's up, but just careful of those big waves. Now, if you did like this video, please do uh, hit that like button. And of course, leave me a comment. I do really appreciate everyone's support and questions and everything else that comes through in the comments. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments, so please keep them coming. Of course, if you want to see more content like this, do consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, and also, if you click on the bell icon, you'll receive a notification as soon as I've posted up a new video. But until the next one, I'll see you then. Oh,